command has now been initiated. This is the automatic sequencer, and we have a confirmation on our status board that the launch, launch sequence has started. We're now in our final three minutes of the countdown. Two minutes, 56 seconds, and Apollo 13 continues to be go. The astronauts are still reporting back from the spacecraft Odyssey. Spacecraft Commander Jim Lovell says Odyssey is go. He will be the last one to uh, perform a uh, function here during the countdown at the T-minus 45 second mark. The Commander Jim Lovell will set the final alignment of the spacecraft guidance. That's the last crew action before the uh, liftoff of Apollo 13. We continue to aim for a liftoff at 2.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now T-minus 2 minutes, 18 seconds and counting and our count continues to look good. Our weather is no constraint to launch today. Earlier fears about the weather uh, seem to have dissipated. A stationary front over the Florida Georgia border has not sent down the predicted bad weather that we had feared. We just passed the two minute mark, just passed the two minute mark in the countdown and the pressurization now of the vehicle tanks is beginning. The third stage liquid oxygen tank has now been pressurized and the second stage liquid oxygen tank has been pressurized. We'll be making our final transfer from external power source, that is from the external power source at the pad, to the launch vehicle batteries at the T-minus 50 second mark. We'll be keeping an eye on that power transfer at T-minus 50 seconds. The S4B propellant, now all pressurized. S4B propellant, that's the third stage of the Saturn V pressurized. One minute, 15 seconds, and counting. The spacecraft equipment now is on its own internal cooling. It's been uh, sharing its cooling from it, getting its cooling from an external power source up to this time. We're now approaching the T-minus one minute mark. T-minus one minute, T-minus one minute, and counting. Now in the final minute of our countdown. At the 30-second mark, swing arm number one will up. retract. T-minus 50 seconds. As we pass the T-minus 50-second mark, the power transfer takes place. First stage, second stage, third stage, and the instrument unit going to internal power. T-minus 37 seconds, and our count continues to go well. We'll be looking for an ignition of those five first stage engines at the T-minus 8.9 second mark. We pass T-minus 30, T-minus 25 seconds and counting, and Apollo 13 is go. T-minus 20 seconds, T-minus 20 seconds and counting. 17, guidance release, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Ignition sequence has started.
15 Houston, stand by for mode 1 Charlie. Mark, you're 1 Charlie. Mark, 1 Charlie. And 13, you're go for staging. Go for staging, we're in the ADS manual. Altitude now 17 miles coming up on staging. scheduled. We confirm in board out 13, you're looking good. Roger. Coming up on 30 miles altitude. Houston, trajectory is good, thrust is good. Uh, Roger. Capcom Joe Kerwin confirming to the crew that the second stage looks good at this point. We're now 46 miles high, 70 miles, 78 miles downrange. Good. Tower jet. We confirm skirt set, Roger. Tower jet, mode two, Jim, looking good. Mode two. And level reports that the guidance system is correcting the small errors. 13 Houston, guidance is good and the CMC is go. Okay, thank you. 13, Roger. Coming up now on four minutes. We're now at an altitude of 63 miles. Four minutes, 15 seconds, the trajectory. Houston, you're go at four minutes, so little red lines are right on the little white lines down here. No, I'm good. Velocity up now to 11,000 feet per second. That's about 36% of the amount needed for a minimum orbit. We're now 75 miles in altitude. Two hundred twenty-two miles downrange now. The uh, ECOM reports Houston coming up five minutes. You're looking perfect, over. Thirteen, Roger. And our ECOM reports that the cabin pressure is sealed at six point one pounds, which is normal. And we're now two hundred fifty miles downrange, altitude eighty-one nautical miles. seconds into the launch. Jim we continue Martin. to look very good on the second stage. Jim Lovell just reported the inboard engine is shut down as out. scheduled. Thirteen Houston, stand by for S4B to COI capability. S4B to COI, Roger. Roger, you've got it now, Jim. You've got S4B to COI. A booster reports that the inboard engine uh, shutdown was a bit early. Uh, we're continuing to burn on the uh, four outboard engine. Minutes, 13. Go ahead, sir. And uh, Houston, what's the story on engine five? Jim, uh, Houston, we don't have a story on why the inboard out was uh, early, but the uh, other engines are go and you're go. Roger. 